Today, what I'm gonna run you through here in the Llama Lab is the differences between the previous generation direct drive kicker and the current generation direct drive kicker, the Kicker 18, and how they've managed to quieten things down. So I'm gonna bring you from over there to over here, and we'll have a closer look at the internals of these trainers. Starting off here with the internals of the Kicker 17, the previous one, two, and three generation of the Kicker itself. You can see here the belt design is a toothed belt with horizontal teeth there and the gear wheel through here. And that right there is what makes the noise when you're at higher RPM. I'll just spin this up now and you'll just start to hear that whir. So at higher RPM, the air moving in and out and around here causes that hum or the whir. And that's the noise that you'll get out of your Kicker Gen 1, 2 and 3. The Kicker Generation 2 and 3 were quietened down a little bit, but still there is that whine. So there we go, there's the belt design and the internals, the previous generation Kicker 1, 2 and 3. Now over here to the Kicker 18, and the first thing you'll notice is the vertically aligned grooves on the belt and no cogged wheel down below here. And when you spin the trainer up, there's virtually no noise. Another change on the new silent kickers, Kicker 18 and Kicker Core, is the bigger drive wheel here. So you get more surface area so there's no slippage. You probably can't tell with the camera angle at the moment because this is in the foreground, this is slightly in the background, but that is a little smaller than this drive wheel here. So again, internal differences here and here, and the belt, and the drive wheel externally. So there we are, the ins and outs, well more so the ins, of the previous generation kickers and the internal belt design versus the new virtually silent Kicker 18, which is similar to that of the Kicker Core. So as we can see there, it's not as simple as being able to put this belt on the old trainer and quieten things down. It's been a complete redesign with a few subtle other changes in there. If you're looking for an upgrade path from one of these slightly whiny trainers into something like this, which is a little quieter, maybe sell one of these refurbished secondhand and use that money to go get yourself a Kicker Core or maybe upgrade to the 18. So there we are. If anybody asks about putting this belt onto there, there's the answer. It's a no, but there are alternatives to get yourself quietened down in your lab at home. All right, thanks for watching. We'll be back with more soon.